Coming up, I see the ponies at Lyndhurst, I go to Buckler's Hard and I visit Bewley again. Good morning, the sun is shining and it looks to be a lovely sunny day. So we are out back on the Bewley Road where I was yesterday afternoon or evening and finally I see my first lot of New Forest ponies. And they're even right in the road over there. As you can see that lorry is going very slow. I have to go round one of them. But yes. They are wild. They are able to roam through the roads. So sometimes you do have to go round them. a lovely road to drive. As you see it's a bit of a cloudy day today, we are due to rain. That's a little foal. <laughs> but the view is amazing. This right, let's go to Buckler's Hard. And right by the entrance of Buckler's Hard, there is a cafe if you are wondering. I didn't actually use the cafe at all. And this is Buckler's Hard. I walked to this bit and then went, oh wow, this is so amazing. But for some reason, the audio was being very crackly. What an amazing sight, and if you're in the area, I suggest you go and visit it. Another tourist took this photo of me. I also took photos for them too. Then I had a quick look round one of the ship workers' cottages. I was only able to have a quick peek inside the chapel as there were some school kids on a school trip learning in here. This is the Duke, the Duke's bathhouse. That bathhouse is hard and it overlooks the river. Oh, you can actually do a walk from here at Buckler's Hard to Bewley Village. It's only a gentle two and three quarter mile walk. So here I am walking to Bewley Village from Buckler's Hard. It's about two and a three quarter mile walk. I haven't got my boots on. It's starting to rain. I've got a waterproof jacket. Let's do this. At least I can say I've done some walking this holiday. Well, it's just started to rain. Never mind. Let's continue walking. To I just thought I'd show you this beautiful area as I'm walking through. To Beauty. That's the way back to Buckler's Hard. And this way. There you go, is the way to Bewley. So when I set off, it was raining. It's now blight, br blight, bright blue sky and sunny. But that's good, because it's still a long walk to go. Clouds rolling in, and I'm still on my way to Beauty. That's some little birdies in the hedge, Hasbaros. It's okay, little Hasbaros. 
I really hope I'm an idiot, Julie. I have seen a sign that says Beauty Waterworks Treatment Centre. Waters in the field. Sparrow on the gate. Surely we must be in Cuba by now. Look at all the swifts. Could also be swallows, but I couldn't tell because they are flying so fast. After a little bit more walking, I finally arrived in Bewley Village. And what's one of the first things I see? Some donkeys! Little Eeyore says, I found some siblings! It was at this point when the rain started to become really heavy, and I mean really heavy. <laughs> I think it's raining just a little bit. <laughs> Oops. Did you get wet? Mm, you did, didn't you? You got wet. Then I took a little walk round Bewley Village. This is looking over to the mill pond, which I featured in the previous video. Can you see Beauty Palace to the right of that tree? Went to Beauty Bakehouse for some lunch. Unfortunately, I forgot to take a photograph of the actual building. Sorry. After the long walk, I deserved a hot chocolate with marshmallows. And for lunch, I had a bowl of mac cheese with onion. Unfortunately, I couldn't quite finish it all, as it was a very big dish. I know this is a really random photograph, but I just had to post it. All I can say is thank you, Bewley Bakehouse. It's the first time I've ever seen anything like this in some ladies' toilets. And then it was time to walk back to Buckler's Hard. All I can say is... Wet! Literally, I am soaked. I don't know if you can see. My trousers are literally soaked. My trainers are soaked. And the pathways are now quite flooded. <sighs> but anyway, I had lunch in Bewley. And just as I started walking back, it poured with rain. Anyone for a drowned rat? My trousers are soaked. My shoes now contain water. And I've still got a very long walk to go. See that pathway? Mm -hmm. Best bit, my waterproof trousers are in my suitcase back in the B&B. Never mind. What's a walking holiday without getting a bit wet? Anyway, continue onwards and upwards. Let's go. <laughs> and take a look at a blue sunny sky over Buckler's Hard. Yeah. Thank you very much, Mother Nature. But the rain meant that I could take a whole load of selfies with nobody in the background. Well, almost. So, here I am. Back at Buckler's Hard. I did just have to walk through a big, massive, deep puddle. So now I really have got water in my trainers. But never mind. I will go back to the car and pour all the water out of my trainers. It's fine. But anyway, as you can see, in the background is Buckler's Hard. I'll put a link in the description with info about Buckler's Hard. But yes. So, back to the car. Drive back to the B&B. Go and get some clean clothes and trainers. Dry clothes and trainers. And see where to go this afternoon.
this house here is stunning with the, I guess it's not Ligeria, Wisteria on it. Um, the sun wasn't on that earlier, so it looks a bit shady, but now with the sun on it looks lovely. So I might just go and do a few selfies with it. But yeah. Who would have thought, probably about 45 minutes ago, it was absolutely jacking it down. This water was from that big massive puddle that I couldn't do anything about and I just had to try and go around the edges but it was so deep and you couldn't see where the edges were because there's foliage I so I just had to go for it. One sock. Got to get the other shoe off. I could actually wash these and put them on the towel while it's dry but I'm just not quite sure how I'm going to dry those. I did just leave them in the shower tray to air dry however the smell was awful by the end of my holiday. I washed my feet and gave them some fresh clean socks, put on my spare pair of trainers and headed out for dinner. The Hay Wayne Stonehouse Pizza and Carvery Place is in Bartley, just down the road from Cadenham. I ordered the kids sized turkey carvery and had an orange and passion fruit J2O drink on the side. Now let me say, that was yummy and very filling. Coming up in part three, I go to the New Forest Wildlife Park and I drive to Milford-on-the-Sea to see the needles. Oh, and attempt some retail therapy.